Hey guys, it's Anton. Take Me Where the Clouds Rise is an upcoming historical romance drama that was previously known as The Legend of Rosy Clouds. There has been some speculation as to why there have been some changes not only to the drama's title but also its character names. Some have said that it was due to a copyright issue since this drama was adapted from a Japanese light novel and supposedly the proper licensing rights were not properly attained before adapting the series. Apparently this report has been stated to be untrue since the producers had in fact gotten the rights prior to filming the drama. However, the speculation continued to pour in when the official teaser trailer that was released just a few months back was pulled from the official IGE website. Some netizens postulated that it was because the screenplay was done too quickly and so the initial quality was deemed to be lacking, hence a rewrite of the entire cast and drama title. Whatever the reason was, I thought the short teaser trailer which you are seeing right now looks great and so I was sort of disappointed that the production team was facing some possible delays. Because of some of the possible script rewrites, bear with me on this drama description as there may be some changes from its initial synopsis. Anyways, let me go ahead and introduce this series. Lee Tong plays the main female lead. You may remember her from such dramas as Warm on a Cold Night, Royal Nirvana, and of course her breakout role in 2017's The Legend of the Condor Heroes. Her character here in Take Me Where the Clouds Rise is the eldest daughter of a prestigious noble family that has fallen on hard times. Her dream is to pass the imperial exams and become an official in the royal court, although it is a career path that is forbidden to women. Joseph Zeng, who you may remember from his recent works in such dramas as Romance on the Farm, Mysterious Lotus Casebook, and High Venus, plays the main male lead. His character here is the current emperor who pretends to be a weak ruler. His grand advisor sees the female leads' talent and offers her a grand reward to join the imperial household to teach the emperor on how to be a good ruler. The story follows the pair as they work together to quell rebellion and handle state affairs, ultimately culminating in the female lead achieving her dream of being the very first female government official in the kingdom. Take Me Where the Clouds Rise will be a 36 episode series around 45 minutes each and will air on Aichi when it does premiere. The current rumor is that it should air sometime in the second half of 2024 with some sources citing October or November, however no official premiere date has been yet confirmed. Anyways, just a quick update for you guys today. Let me know what you guys think of this series down in the comment section below. I sort of feel bad for Li Tang as lately she has not been in a drama that I feel fully showcases her potential since back in her debut Legend of the Condor Heroes. I think that she's good in the scrappy, witty, and intelligent female character kind of role and she hasn't really gotten that in a while. So here's hoping Take Me Where the Clouds Rise will be a good fit for her and number two, let's hope that it doesn't get shelved over the copyright issues or whatever it is that is causing these title changes. Anyhow, that's it for the video today. Thank you for joining me. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you are a new viewer and would like to get more drama news updates in the future. My name is Anton, this is Asian Drama News, and I will catch you guys in the next video. See ya!